Hi, my name is Rick Perry, and thanks for coming back to my channel. I have a YouTube channel where I have some DIY stuff that I like to do with Pro Audio. So today, we're going to be looking at the SM57 microphone. It's a great microphone. Um, you find it on guitar cabinets a lot. I've actually seen it on bass cabinets, you know, and it sounds great. Just for kicks one night, I put it in a kick drum. It sounded great in a kick drum, too. So... The problem that we have with the 57 is something that's called cap rattle. And I didn't find out a whole lot about this until I bought the Shure clamp system that actually clamps it to a tom. And I had the drummer complaining that he could hear a rattling sound whenever he hit the drums. And I was like, okay. I mean, you could barely hear it in the front of the house. So I uh, put the headphones on, slowed them up. Sure enough, I could hear a rattle. <clears throat> so, started doing some research on it. The reason I never heard it before is because I never really coupled these with the drums. I had them on a stand separately from the drums, and you really don't have a problem out of them that way. But if you couple this with the drum, when you hit the drum, you get this rattle. And we'll see if I can pick this up. Can't pick it up that way. So what I've got... I've got my mic pre connected to my monitors here. And I, I was already set up to actually multi-track this and lay the audio in, but I found out that I could actually do this without creating the feedback issue and playing it through the speaker. So let me uh, plug this in. <clears throat> okay, so I guess you can hear that. So... <clears throat> Let me try to make sure all the cables aren't making any noise and can you hear that? So that's what we're hearing. So just to show you, um, this one's a pretty old mic. So let me change mics here and go to this one. Which isn't quite as bad, but it still does it. Okay, we're plugged in. Okay, so make sure the cables aren't laying on anything. And <laughs> my computer chair's squeaking. I can still make it barely make the sound if I shake really hard. Okay, so the third one I have <clears throat> is a brand new microphone. Never used. Brand spanking new. I can get it plugged in. Okay, so brand new. Whoops. The first couple sounds you heard was the cable hitting. Alright, so no noise at all. So, <clears throat> if you contact Sure, they will sell you... Let me get this other mic back on here. Pardon the uh, video close-up. I don't have it on the little tripod yet. So, so we're really back to this. The loose cap. So, on a lot of the forums, there's all kind of tricks that people talk about. You don't want to put tape around here because that's going to change the polar position of the microphone. I've seen people just put a straight strip 180 degrees apart. Yeah, that, I guess that's going to kind of split the difference, but Sure has a fix for it. Uh, it's a service bulletin. So, if you get in touch with Sure, then Tell them what you want. You'll get one of these letters. And time to go to the tripod now. So basically, tell them that you heard about the uh, the rattling caps. I'm trying to move this thing around a little bit so that you guys can see a little better. There we go.
and do not pay. So they'll send you these for free. Alright. So what you get is you get a package from Sure like this. And inside they give you these foam strips. And then that's the packing list. So inside they'll tell you that it's M57 grill rattle. And they'll tell you it may develop auto rattle when the microphone is shaking vigorously. Well, this is the little piece of foam that they send you. And it says uh, one of four flat areas located 90 degrees apart. So they want you basically just to shove the foam up inside uh, the cap. And um, at first I kept saying I don't know what these flat areas are. So luckily I had an old microphone. Oh, and it does say here the phone does not degrade the SM57 frequency response or polar pattern. So contact support at sure.com and then there's the phone number if you would like to get some of these phone pads. So here they are. They're just this is not the part number, this is the zip block that I already had. But basically these are little, little bitty tiny pieces of foam, real thin. It looks like about a sixteenth of an inch, and it's kind of random cuts. They're not any rhyme or reason to them. So back to the four flats. So you get looking at the microphone, and you look in there real close, and you say, "I don't see any flats." And I thought they would be flats like in this plastic cap, but they're not. So, <clears throat> I had this old microphone here that's pretty rough. The, I mean, it's been, the cap was completely crushed. And upon taking it apart and putting it back together several times, uh, I broke the wires on it. So, it doesn't matter because it really didn't work anyway. It was uh, real scratchy sounding. So, I said, well, this one will be the guinea pig. So the flat spots they're talking about, let me get something to point with, is basically these. You'll see the four flat places. So they want you to shove the foam up under there. Now it appears to me that that's really where your 180 degree phase wave comes up through the cap of the mic, but that's what they say do. So when you're looking at it, you can't really see the flat. So what I was looking for <clears throat> was where the wires come through, the yellow. You can see the yellow right here. If you get it in the light just right, you can see the flats now. So what I'm going to do is I will attempt to put the foam up in there on camera. Uh, we're at eight minutes in the video now. Um, let me stop before I go any further. Um, these things are kind of a bear to get off. And uh, you can find where the little lock pieces are. But even though you find the locks, this thing is still a pain in the butt to get off and on. I took it off, no problem. Had no issue. Put it back on. And then I said, well, I'm going to take it off one more time to shoot the video. And when I took it off, that's when this piece came off. And I, I think this was already kind of crusted, like it was uh, barely hanging on. So that's probably why the rattling sound was in the mic to begin with. So you may have a fix for it to where you take it apart, put glue somewhere. Um, I would rather try this first because you can destroy your microphone pulling this cap off. This clip sits inside this little plastic cap just so that basically you have to compress the clip and slide the cap off and when you pull this cap off the clip stays on the microphone. So putting it back on is kinda of weird because you gotta put it on at an angle and slide it on and push it and uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. So anyway 
So our worst one, this one here, that's our worst one. I guess we could start with that one. So I need something to push it up in there. So <clears throat> give me a pocket screwdriver here, or a jeweler screwdriver, or whatever they call these. We'll try that one. All right, so it says to start with one or two, and you could put all four in there. So what we'll do is we'll find, there's our, one of our flats right there. So basically they're saying, okay, so you can slightly lift the cap up. So what I would do, is let's uh, make sure we're on a flat. Yeah, there's one flat. So we'll do it right here. Let's see if we can do this with the camera stuck around or in between us. I've never done this, so We'll see how this happens. All right, there's one in. Okay, I gotta remember where I put that one. I can see an outline right here that this is where the uh, lock is. So the outline next to the pattern symbol is our first position. Make sure it's up in there really good. Okay, let's plug it back in. And let's uh, get the cable around here. Hey, what do you know? <laughs> the, the one piece of foam actually worked pretty well. Actually, wiggling the cap. Let me try another microphone here. <clears throat> See how that's okay let's try this microphone now since we're 13 minutes into our video I'm gonna put it in the uh, let's see if I can find where the lock is and if you look I don't know if you can see that but I can barely see the impression in the sticker in the same exact place of the other mic. So let's try the same exact thing with microphone number two. Just shove the foam up in there. Try not to make this a 30 minute video. So uh we might end up at around 15 to 20 minutes here. So don't go away. Whoops. Yeah, we're at 15 minutes right now. I think we can do this in 20. I think getting it started is the hardest thing without destroying anything.
There we go. I got it going now. Trying to be careful at the same time. Okay, it's in, so let's uh, go back around a little bit. There we go. Plug it back in. And I like that. That's a really good fix. So there you go. That's the Shure microphone fix. SM57 grill rattle. So there's the the fix. There's two of my microphones that the rattle is gone now. So anyway, uh, contact Sure and get you some some of the packets of foam sent out for free. I thought I was gonna have to put four in each one, but it appears that one was plenty. So if you like what you see, then uh, go down to here and hit the subscribe button and come back to my channel for more videos and. Uh, Share this video on all your uh, audio and and social media sites so that everyone can learn how to fix their SM57 rattling cap microphone. Thanks for watching.